death. Inevitable, inescapable, irrefutable. Where there is death, there is fear. And from that fear, the Urfather was born. The Plague Lord, the Chaos God of disease, decay, destruction, and death by rebirth. Nurgle is undoubtedly the oldest of the ruinous powers, for death and decay are as old as life itself. The garden and its continuous growth and care are chief amongst the Fly Lord's concerns. That prized garden, diligently nurtured and toiled, stands sullied under the presence of indolent hedonists seeking expansion for their excessive and decadent domain. These playthings of Slanesh have courted the ire of Kugath Plaguefather, the fetid brewmaster, the rotting poxmaker. Kugath's fascination with the breeding of fresh, virulent life has earned him high favor among Nurgle's chosen. Obsessed with concocting the perfect contagion, the Plague Father returns to the realms of chaos only rarely, but sees such visits as the opportune time to trial his newest plagues on rival demons. Nurgling spew pus and disease as they burst on the knife-edged claws of Slanesh's demonettes, whilst plague bearers wade their oozing masses into the riot of ecstasy and infection. At the border of the melee, the Plague Father mulls, mixing concoctions both of material and mind. This sordid invasion feels to Kugath reminiscent of Nakari, Slanesh's notorious keeper of secrets. Kugath has served Grandfather Nurgle long enough to recognize a faint. A faint indeed. For why else would Nakari himself not be leading the charge? It is unlike the Arch Tempter to abstain from giving and receiving the gift of pain. The young god Slanesh has much to learn in the ways of subterfuge and could stand to study the arts employed and mastered by the great conspirator, with whom Nurgle carries a mutual and enduring contempt. But what schemes could Nakari be plotting? A full-scale assault on the garden? Unlikely. The feint here would suggest an attempt on Kugat's mortal territories. So it is the material realm Nakari means to blind the Plague Father to. A valiant effort, but Kugat sees the truth eventually. Nurgle may be slow at times, but it's by design. Content with his assessment, Kugat means to end this distraction quickly. But first he must contend with Slanesh's greater demon. This Keeper of Secrets unleashes its Lash of Slanesh spell, felling a dozen weakened Forsaken with a single whip. The mere act of witnessing the Keeper's power fans Slanesh's lesser demons into a blissful rapture, injecting them with vigor and enhancing their martial prowess. The affront against the Garden lasts longer than Kugath had wanted. Indeed, he itches to return to the mortal realms to brew new plagues and discover Nakari's schemes. In an effort to overwhelm the Epicurean invaders, Kugat summons a tide of eager nurglings. They swarm forth and explode on command, spreading disease and pus across the battlefield. Not satisfied with the explosion, the Plague Father employs the law of Nurgle to summon up Light Boil. This festering, pulsing blister grows up through the ground before bursting in a shower of disgusting fluids. Slanesh's demons wither and die beneath the strain of a dozen maladies. The garden is again secured, and Kugath can turn his attentions to the mortal realm at last. How many potential plagues already lost to Nakari's schemes, Kugath cannot say. He knows only that the Arch Tempter will suffer every sickness known to Grandfather Nurgle. The Father would expect no less.